Another day, another review. Today we are reviewing four of PE Science's protein blends. We've already hit the protein bars and now it's time to try their whey casein with just water because I believe that is the real test to know if something is good or it's not good. Because when it's blended with milk or blended with sugar or whatever else, of course it's gonna taste great. My name is Nick, I have my master's in exercise physiology and I make anabolic recipes and also review anything in the fitness industry, full days of eating, etc., etc. So if you're into any of those kind of things, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you're ready to have your protein shake thicker than last time, then let's get into it. Full disclosure, I have never tried these before, so this will be the first time trying them, and I am also an affiliate now for PE Science. But, like I said in the previous video, I will only recommend something if it is truly good. I'm not gonna BS you, so if one of them is good, I'm gonna recommend one of them. If three of them are good, I'll recommend three of them. But I will not ruin my integrity for a little bit of extra cash, okay? I really don't care what order I go in, they all sound super good. So I'm gonna start from right to left and the first one is chocolate mint cookie. It almost looks like a Thin Mint. And if this tastes like Thin Mint, I am super excited, especially for any future mint sort of recipes that we create. And yes, I have a blender bottle addiction. I have many more over in my kitchen as well. I'm gonna start by using the recommended amount of water, which is four ounces. And if it's too thick or thin, I will change it. And I'm using ice cold water right out of the fridge. And that is the best way to see if a protein powder actually tastes good. Only water. Now this is a half serving. So this is only 60 calories and that makes it perfect to do taste testing. It smells minty and chocolatey. After doing my mint Oreo protein ice cream, I'm guessing it's not that hard to get mint into products because you only need a little bit and it goes a long way. The mixability is excellent. I mix it for 10 to 15 seconds. It's all mixed in. However, it doesn't taste like mint really. It tastes like chocolate and it tastes good. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste like mint. So based off the flavor name, I would give it like a three out of 10 because I expected mint and chocolate. But taste, taste is very good. I would give this like an 8.4 out of 10. If you like a chocolate protein, you're good going with the mint chocolate. Next, we have strawberry cheesecake. Extremely excited about this. Hopefully it doesn't taste just like strawberry. Even though that would still be good, but I'm expecting some cheesecake flavor for sure. It smells like strawberry. It tastes like strawberry and I don't, I don't even know what. Not a fan. Um, it tastes basically like strawberries, kind of like the mint Oreo or the mint chocolate just tasted like chocolate. This just tastes like a strawberry protein shake and the strawberry flavor is not, it's like there, but it's like this, there's this side flavor that doesn't taste like strawberry. It tastes weird. No, I'm going to give that like a 4.2 out of 10. That one was not good. Would not recommend strawberry cheesecake. This snickerdoodle is so damn hyped up. I think this is the one I hear the most about. So I have high expectations. I really hope it doesn't let me down like the strawberry cheesecake did. Man, I really f***ed this one up. I can't pour some damn powder in a damn cup. Come on, Nick. One thing to note about the snickerdoodle is this one has five less calories than the other ones. This one has 55 and that one has 60. So I think the full serving would only be 110 calories versus all the other ones would be 120 calories for the same amount of protein. So just something to keep in mind. And it definitely smells like snickerdoodle, 
Reminds me of my snickerdoodle cookie dough I made and I'm damn excited to try it. Yeah, <clears throat> that's real good. Somehow this has less calories, but easily the best out of the three I've tried so far. And the first one was good for chocolate, very good. But this is like in the nines. You always gotta leave room for improvement, but I would say this one is like 9.1, 9.2 out of 10. That one's excellent. I would highly recommend the Snickerdoodle. And last but not least, peanut butter cookie. I love Nutter Butters, and these cookies kinda look like Nutter Butters, so I'm really hoping that this one pulls through. I haven't heard too much about this one, so I don't know what to expect. It doesn't really smell like peanut butter too much. It's very faint. Let's see what we get though. Wow, after the smell, I didn't think it would taste that good, but this is straight up very peanut butter cookie-like. Obviously it's not a nutter butter, but damn good for 60 calories for water and protein powder. The mixability on all of these is great. They all mix extremely well. I'm getting no chunks, no powder whatsoever. I'm pleasantly surprised. This one's like an 8.6. So we got strawberry way down here, like four out of 10. Then we got the chocolate. Chocolate of course is great, but chocolate just doesn't do it for me. But like for a chocolate, the chocolate tastes good. 8.2, peanut butter was really damn good. 8.6, and then what did I say? 9.1 for the snickerdoodle, straight gas. So I would recommend if you're gonna buy them, I would buy one of these three, but I still have four or five more to try in part two. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and an authentic bar, protein bar review is coming out very soon as well. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when those videos come out. Use code E4CM for 15% off your entire PE Science purchase, whether you just purchase the bars, you purchase the powder, whether you get both of them, you'll get 15% off your full purchase. Make sure you let me know in the comment section which video you would like to see next, as in what review, or even a recipe that you have in mind, even though there's so many damn recipes to be done. I always like hearing your guys' requests, and sometimes I pick up and start doing it right away. So, until that next review, I will see you in that next one. Do say.